You know the worst part here is that the majesty was not even real. Subscribe, please! Right, hi YouTube. Today we're gonna to be looking at the animated short The Emperor of Glamos. Uh, it's the new short for um, the beautiful, beautiful Firefly coming up really, really soon. I was talking about her earlier, about whether or not the video might be out before this one is, um, about pool values. But uh, yeah, let's get into the trailer. This is uh, my first time watching it. I've watched the previous one, the Celestial Myriad or whatever it's called. And it was pretty interesting to see all of the Sams, which I'd before already theorized that we might see more Sams in the future. And who knows, maybe there's all the survivors of uh, Glamoth. Um, hopefully this video answers more questions than the last one. Um, because I wanted to see if we're going to get some answers when it comes to how I should live this long. And, you know, stuff like that. So hopefully we get some answers. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. All right, T then. Let's have a look, Z's. Command. Damn, she's not looking good. Alright. Jesus, what a nightmare. On your feet. The target straight ahead. Keep pushing forward. There's so many of them. All the fireflies. Okay, what's so crazy to me is that we saw in the other trailer that they have a suit. So why are they naked when we see, like when we see her here? Why does she look naked? She's supposed to be wearing a suit. <laughs> it's the same in the game. She has this naked animation whenever she's doing her ultimate. It's like, <laughs> is she naked in the suit or does she have her thing? Why do we have to see her half naked inside the robot? It's so strange. Oh, damn. Is that actual Tyser? No, that has to be. Is that the Emanator? Jeez. God damn, that has to be her then. Uh. Yeah, so that's gonna be the signal. You know, the worst part here is that the majesty was not even real. Uh, Titiana, Tatiana was a fake entity that they put in the brain of all the fireflies. Um, so they, it, it's just a, a device to brainwash them into fighting for humanity of uh, the glamour planet.
Why is she naked? Died. Like they're all wearing something at the very least, except her. Oh, well, maybe not all of them. Jesus. So it was already destroyed. I dreamed of a scorched earth. A new shoot sprouted from the earth. It bloomed in the morning sun and whispered to me. Okay, so what is very interesting here is that I think, um, so obviously the, the tree sprouting, that's just in her mind. I think this is her like trying to grow past what she was born to do. Um, it also confirms that, you know, we know they, they were made to protect Glamos, but Glamos already fell, but they were still like fighting because they had uh, the, the memories of Tatiana in their mind, the Empress. So they were fighting for something that was already gone. Uh, but I... I did she destroy the planet herself? That's possible, honestly. I don't know how strong she is, but we know she's incredibly strong. Uh, but the tree, this is just an imagery. Imagery, sorry. I'm pretty sure. Because even after that part, like when you see her from the back, the tree is not there. So this is purely in her mind. Dancing among the stars. Wait, so Kafka was already alive. Man, this answers nothing. We still don't know how she's been alive for this long. So I, I guess Glamos was already gone. So like, okay, so... No, because there's no way there were still more insects. Because I was thinking maybe she was alive all this time, still fighting the swarm. But the swarm has already been destroyed completely. Maybe there's some remnant of the swarm. Maybe they were still on the old planet that used to be Glamoth and they were still fighting to their death the, the, the remnant of the swarm for who knows how many Ember Eras. And this was like the end of it when it was the end of the fight. And so in the timeline, essentially she might have been fighting for like over a hundred years. And then Kafka arrived and recruited her just after what used to be Glamoth got destroyed. Or what we saw here was like the past and then she's just been floating here for forever. And like a hundred years later, Kafka arrived. Or this all takes place 
when Glamos was destroyed over 100 years ago and Kafka is just super old? It could be either of those three, but we still don't have an answer. I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't know. I have so many questions. Frick, I hope we have more answers. I hope we get answers in the story. We need to know more. I, I hope the, the Star Rail epilogue is going to talk about this because I'm, I'm very confused about the timeline here. Um, it's good to see Kafka, though, because I do miss her. Uh, but yeah, I think why she survived in space, honestly, it's kind of hard to say. Um, it could either be because they just made that way, right? Uh, they were... Uh, they were um, genetically modified, so maybe they've been modified to survive in space. Or maybe she got a benediction like one of the Eon gifted her power to put her in a stasis. Like, I could see this being like just her in a stasis for like multiple Amber Eras, and then Kafka shows up and is like, oh, there's something here. Uh, that's possible. Uh, so yeah, who knows? The script? Uh, I don't know about that. I, I think the script doesn't necessarily have anything to do with this specifically. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I I'm very curious at the very least. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's cool. It's just mechas fighting against bugs. Um, to be honest, this is not the kind of shorts that I found the most interesting. This is literally, uh, okay, mechas fighting bugs, Firefly is naked, the place is destroyed. This reveals absolutely nothing in terms of lore. Um, but I guess, yeah, that's it. We, we get to see Kafka seeing her. I, I imagine Kafka has been sent here by Elio, but that's kind of different. Uh, a thousand years old? Not necessarily, because we the, the last time the swarm disaster happened was not incredibly long ago. It was like two Ember Eras ago, I think. Uh, which is over a hundred years, probably, uh, but it's not very clear. Uh, we, it, I, I don't think she's uh, over a thousand, but uh, who knows? Doesn't matter. Um, I think it, it's not a big deal. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to actually have some explanation and to clear up some of the the timeline. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. Firefly is, uh, I like her. I like her. Um, I don't know why. What, I don't know why she's the only one who's, like, fully naked in the Mecca. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. I, I don't know, a lot of people are like, oh, she's super old, so she's not an older woman. Let's be real. She doesn't act like an old woman. She doesn't look like an old woman. She's not an old woman. Let's just put it this way, okay? The same way. Th this is the same way. Like, if a Lottie character acts like an eight years old, but he's technically a thousand years old, I'm still gonna call that weird. So here, here she, she looks like a young adult, like a petite young adult. Um, just because she's potentially X amount of years old doesn't mean that she's older than just a young adult. So yeah, anyway, um, that was fine. I I'm not absolutely like, Sheesh, that's great, man! Best short ever! Uh, I don't think it's better than Kafka's. I don't think it's better than um, Sparkles, but it's pretty fine. I, I, yeah, it's okay. It's okay out of 10. So yeah, there is it. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. And uh, leave a comment. Like, subscribe, all the good good. You can find me on Twitch and Discord. Uh, just Kitty Cathy for both. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye!